In 1877, Chicago was quickly rebuilding itself after the Great Fire of 1871. The majority of the city had been left in ruins with more than 100,000 homeless, but the energy of the city was unstoppable. Beginning to grow larger than its former self, new homes were being built in an area at the edge of the city called Wicker Park. By 1884, so many people had moved into this area and the nearby Humboldt Park that Archbishop Fian directed the formation of two new parishes, St. Sylvester to serve the English-speaking community and St. Aloysius to serve the many German immigrants living in the same area. On May 30, 1884, Reverend Aloysius J. Teeley received a letter from Archbishop Pian directing him to take over the project for the German immigrants. After meeting with some of the German-speaking people living in the area, construction of a temporary church began on June 14, 1884. One week later, the simple structure was completed. Father Teeley celebrated the first Mass on June 22, 1884. The first church went up so fast that few people even knew it had been built. It cost the parish a total of $450 to build the structure. Father Teeley preached on the Good Shepherd Gospel and promised to strive to be a good shepherd to his flock. Father Teeley contacted the poor handmaids of Jesus Christ, who were looking to build a hospital in Chicago. He convinced them that building near the parish would do the most good for others. In 1886, St. Elizabeth Hospital opened. He also contacted the Sisters of Christian Charity to teach in the parish school for boys. He encouraged them to do something nearly unthinkable at that time, to build a finishing school for young women. Josephina Academy opened in 1890 and is still educating young women today. He next began the process of looking at the needs of the greater community, contributing time to the German Orphans Welfare Board, purchasing land for the headquarters of the Divine Word Missionaries, securing the site of St. Joseph Cemetery, Angel Guardian Orphanage, and establishing two mission parishes for German-speaking Catholics who had moved further west and north. In addition, he continued efforts to pay down the parish debt and add classrooms to the parish school as its enrollment increased. By the time of the parish's silver anniversary, the debt was wiped out. The parish had grown from 46 families to over 600 families. On December 10, 1893, the parish founded its St. Vincent de Paul Society to reach out to the poor. As the ethnic makeup of the neighborhood changed, so did St. Aloysius Parish, welcoming wave upon wave of new families, educating their children, providing for the needs of the poor, and shepherding Christ's flock on its pilgrim way. No priest in the Archdiocese of Chicago was more esteemed by the clergy and laity alike than Monsignor Teeley because of his rare qualities of heart and mind. Few men achieved the dignity and prestige that he did because few men sacrificed so much in the service of others. Monsignor Teeley served as our pastor for 47 years, retiring in 1932. Welcome to the Monsignor Teeley Center.